Morning everyone. It is uh, a beautiful Monday morning here in, in Montenegro in winter. Uh, the windows are closed because it's cold. But you can see how absolutely gorgeous it is outside. The sea view. Even the cats like the view. This is little ninja, our little marshmallow. And um, <clears throat> so, here's my comments of a coffee for, for the day. So while I make my coffee, I'm going to stand you over there. I want to talk about protecting the mental space that you have in your head, uh, you know, your mental boundaries in terms of, you know, your motivation and in terms of how you feel about your, your goal and the success of your goal. So often I get people emailing me and, you know, to begin with when they start their goal, they're so excited. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I'm going to do this. This is the year. This is my year. I'm going to do everything I need to do. This is amazing. I like, I feel positive about this and, and that's fantastic. And I'm so happy about that. And then a few days later, I generally get an email or I get a message from them and they go, oh my goodness, I went to work today. Um, I spoke to other students, I spoke to friends, family, da, 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 whatever, and they said that it was so hard and I wouldn't be able to do this and I can't study and work and I can't do this and this and I'm going to be this and they said, they said, they said, and, and it just, it's so scary how we allow other people to get in our head. I mean, you are literally allowing someone else's random opinion, and it's fairly random in most cases, you are allowing someone else's random opinion to get into your head to a point where, you know, they're emailing me and going, Yvonne, you know, is it true? Like, am I going to fail? Am I going to not reach my goal? Am I going to, you know, am I going to lose because, you know, because it's so hard, because it's this, because it's that. And, um, you know, when you take a step back and you think about it, what they're, you know, what they're doing is allowing someone else to occupy their head, to literally get past the boundaries in their head and allow, uh, you know, someone else's opinion to, to bug them, you know, and to make them feel as though they're not going to be successful. So I want you to, I want you to focus on the fact that your what goes on in your head and your mental space is should be like an endangered area <laughs> you know it should be a protected area it should be um, you know it should be a protected zone uh, i want you to think about your brain and your mental energy and your mental space as though it was like a protected natural area you know I want you to think about it as though you got to be really careful about who you do and don't let in the door. So, you know, if someone says something to you, you need to actively think about whether or not you want to allow what they're saying to you to matter or mean something to you, right? So just because you might be walking down the road and someone shouts at you, hey, you're a loser, does that mean anything to you? Are you going to allow that to penetrate your brain, get into your mental space and say, yes, that means something to me, maybe they're right. No, of course not, right? So we need to, you know, we need to pick and choose the people who we allow into our brains. If you're working on a goal and you're working towards something, it is a lowly road and a lot of the time we're left in our own head. So we've got to be very careful about what goes on in that head. You know, we've got to be very careful about how we think about things and what we're doing and what we're thinking about. And that means we've got to be careful about who we let in. If you've got people in your life who are toxic, if you've got people in your life who, who do nothing but add to your self-doubt, you need to really actively decide what to do with the relationship, one, but that's a you know, bigger problem. But you really need to actively decide whether or not when that person opens their mouth, you're going to listen to what they say. Or, you know, are you going to let them talk and just totally ignore it and go, look, I can't, you know, you're my family or you're my mom or my dad or my aunt or my uncle or whatever the case is, so I can't actually tell you to get lost, but I've got to very actively decide that this doesn't mean anything to me. You don't know me, you don't know the situation, you don't know, you know, what I'm doing, etc., etc. Be very, very careful. Don't let colleagues and fellow students, other people, other, da, 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 don't let them bug you. Don't let them get in your head. That's, they have no right to be in there. Pick the people that you trust. Pick the people that you can depend on, that you can rely on, and know more than you. Pick people who will support you smartly, who will, you know, who will be there for you, who know what's going on, and if they don't know what's going on, who will at least support you. Pick the people who you listen to. Don't just listen to everyone, right? Well, we forget often, you know, students will say to me, yeah, but, you know, so-and-so said this about, you know, what I'm busy studying or so-and-so said that about what I'm busy studying and, you know, they've done it before, they know more than I do, so maybe I should listen to them. And I'm like, hold on, hold on. 
You gotta be really careful here. What you don't think about when you are um, when you are studying, what you're not thinking about is that the person that you're speaking to, what's going on in their lives? Because so often when people tell us stuff and they give us their opinions and they say to us, um, oh, I don't think you can do this, this is really hard, or I don't think you've made the right choice there, or I don't think you've done it that way. In so many cases, it's far more a representation of their own choices than it is about you. If you've done something differently to them, it's very hard for them to accept or approve your decision because it might mean that their decision is wrong. Does that make sense? So when someone says something to you or gives you their opinion, be very careful. There's a good possibility that that opinion is coming from a place of how they see themselves. No one around you is capable of giving you an objective opinion about you yourself and what's going on for you and what's the best for you if they're sitting in the same position themselves, right? Then their first priority is what's going on in their own heads. So students will often come to me and say, oh, but this person said that and they said it was so difficult and I'm not going to be able to do it. And I'm like, hold on, is it something that they failed? And most often it's a case of, yeah, no, they, you know, they've struggled and they've failed. And I'm like, are you sure that's not a representation of where they are? As opposed to anything about you. They don't know who you are. You don't know them. You know, they don't know who you are. They don't know what you're capable of. They don't know your history. They don't know your accomplishments. But they're telling you what it's going to be like. I'm more than happy and it's you know, very smart for you to get all the information that you need in order to make smart decisions, you know? So if people are making comments or if people are saying things and there's wisdom in it and there's stuff that you can, then fine, bank it and go, I need to find out more about this. But don't make emotional decisions about whether or not this is going to impact your, your goal and your abilities and go, oh, well, there we go. I thought I could do this and now I can't do this until you've actually sat down, gone and done the research or yeah, you know, go back to someone you can trust, email, ask, whatever, and go, okay, this is the situation. This is what I'm hearing. This is what I've heard. Is this true? Is this right? Would this apply to me? What do I need to be careful about here? Be smart about it. But guys, protect the space in your head. You know, as I say, see it as like an endangered, an endangered area where, you know, you have to pay, you have to pay to get in. Don't let anyone in your head. Don't just let anyone, just because they happen to be around in your life, does not mean they have a right to tell you what you're going to do, especially if they've never been there, especially if they've never gone through what you're going through or doing what you're doing. Be very careful because it's hard enough maintaining mental energy and motivation. You know, it's really tough when you're on your own and you're doing these things and you're working towards a really tough goal. You know, it, it takes a lot of energy to stay positive, to be positive, to keep working at it. And I, I, I want that mental energy. You know, I want you sitting there going, I'm going to do this. I can do this because you can do this. The person whose opinion matters most is yours, right? So the person whose opinion about your ability to do this, the person whose opinion matters the most is your own. Why? Because your opinion is going to dictate whether or not you're going to do something about it. Right? If you have the opinion that you're going to fail, then you won't study. And it's not your opinion that made you fail, it's the fact that you're not studying. Right? So your opinion is super important because your opinion dictates what you do. And I want you doing the right things. Right? And if you want to do the right things, you need to think the right things. Okay? And if you're struggling to think the right things, I understand. I've been there. I was always, you know, I struggled with that as well. People, be positive, be positive, be positive. I could never be positive. Like, I sucked at that. I understand that. You yeah, know, I get that. But you've got to make sure that you're doing the right things. And you've got to make sure that the person whose opinion you're listening to is someone you can trust. See? Even my cat agrees with me. Even my cat agrees with me. Hey? Yes. Hey, yes, that's right. That is correct. Don't let people tell you what you can and can't do. See, she agrees with me, right? Don't let people tell you what you can and can't do. It is your opinion that matters. Other people, they do not have a right in your life to tell you what you can and can't do. Because if you let them, if you let their opinions become yours, you will let their truth become yours and it is not yours. Keep your own truth, your own opinion, your own strength. Pick the people who you allow into your head. Not everybody has right of access into your brain and into your mental space, okay? And that, that is little Anastasia and me. That is our comments over coffee this morning, hey? So that is correct, yes, 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 that's correct. You can do this. Your opinion over whether or not you can reach your goal matters. Nobody else's. 